<laughs> she said situationships. <laughs> you know really I love it. Nobody says boyfriend and girlfriend anymore, or I don't know. I don't even know. Ain't, no, ain't no wrong with a situation. Situationships <laughs> get you through it sometimes. Oh no, <laughs> this is no. not the advice we want to give. Sex is recreation. You know, I've been married for like eight years. So I'm still, you know, I'm just kind of throwing stuff out there. I don't necessarily. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, you know. Sometimes I those know. situationships I think, <laughs> can be damaging, out. though, right? Like, I haven't had any situations. Sometimes, before. sometimes it could be damaging, and sometimes it could be good. Oh. You I, I, th- I think you got to look at sex as like a, um, a recreational sport. Like, it's just oh, something you Lord. do. It. I don't think I don't think um what the other guests spoke yet. Um, let's talk about this a minute. Situationships. I, I think TJ and I kind of have the same facial responses right now. <laughs> but what do you all mean by that? What do you mean by these situationships? Um, I'm just going by what I see on Twitter and assuming it's you know talking to a guy for six seven months. There's no title. Y'all still you know. You know, but I mean, nobody knows anything about what's going on and you guys are still playing house. So they end up moving in together. Nobody still has a title. People have kids together. Nobody still has a title, you know, so I don't know what you call it. Y'all ain't in a real relationship. It's a situation. Chip. (laughs) Well, these kind of things, I mean, they're not new. I mean, I think this vernacular of situationships is, is, is cute. Uh, (laughs) But um, that kind of thing has been, I mean, that's not new. And, you know, I, I, you know, I didn't get to be 54 without knowing what that is. I mean, come on. I mean, so, but, the, but the bottom line was it just didn't get me what I want. I mean, I think the, the problem is when men and women go into these, these situations and they don't have a clear communication or a clear understanding of what the end goal is, because I, I've been, I mean, using myself as an example, I, there were many times I thought I was in love and I thought he loved me, but he never said it. <laughs> he never said it, you know, but mm-hmm. in the meantime, I'm doing what grown married folks do, but, I, but he hadn't asked me to marry him. So, um, so that's part of the thing that, you know, kind of led into the first question is that, you know, knowing what I expected and being able to fully articulate that and being able to handle whatever the response was, because sometimes I'm just going to be honest. Sometimes for me, I was kind of scared to say what I wanted be- for fear that I may not get it. Mm. Mm. So if you just kind of, you know, kind of go along with it and well, maybe mm-hmm. he'll come around to wanting what I want, but you know, sometimes, you know, they say, don't ask the question if you don't want the answer. So mm. I can say that, you know, yeah. So, but situations, if I look at that, because again, you know, me and my husband, we, we did a, I interviewed him and I asked him about, you know, if uh, a man and a woman enter into this agreement or this situationship, you know, can the can the man tell when the woman has changed her mind? Because sometimes women will go into it saying that we can handle certain things, knowing good and damn well we can't, <laughs> we we can't, or we we want we talk ourselves into, oh yeah, I can handle just you know being, you know, friends with benefits or whatever. And then I asked my husband, I said, can a man tell when when that when that girl, woman has changed? He said, of course he he can. He said, because women make it very clear, women is not, a woman is not going to give everything for something that's just a, you know, a casual thing. So my, my point being is that it never ends well. It never ends well, in my opinion. Generally speaking, it doesn't end well mm-hmm. for the woman. I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm just grateful that there was no social media when I was doing my stuff. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I like that part about... It never ending well. I mean, I, I I have never really had a situation ship, but I see what other women have experienced and it seems like it never ends well. A lot of times people, specifically women, will talk about how, oh, you know, that's just my, I don't know, my boo thing or my whatever. And they say that there are no feelings attached, but then when they talk to you, they're stressing about what he's doing, where he's at. Why he didn't call me? You know, he didn't give me none for my birthday. So I'm like, wait a minute. It sounds like you are emotionally attached. You're saying that you're not, but it certainly sounds like you are. Um, so, you know, and I and I know some women feel like they can be in relationships like that where they are physical or sexual with somebody and there are no strings attached. 
But I think in most cases, women get more emotional and they get attached, especially when it's not just sex. You know, we're not just talking about sex. We're talking about so-called situationships where you spending time with this person. You're probably sharing secrets and thoughts and goals and dreams and past hurts. You're opening up with this person, regardless of what it's called. It's a relationship, right? It's a relationship. It might not be the relationship you think it is. He probably sees it completely differently from you, but it's a relationship and you're sharing your time, energy, your effort with somebody. So it doesn't even matter what it's called, right? I think that whoever you engage with will have some type of imprint on you. Um, especially, especially if you are physically or sexually involved with them. So I caution against situationships. I mean, what do I know? I haven't, you know, ha I don't have a whole lot of, you know, relationship experience, but just from what I've seen, it just does not seem to be a good thing for women. But Rashad, you wanted to say something? Yeah. So you, you kind of answered it too. You, you as well, TJ. Would you say most situationships are due to, I guess, the men not defining the relationship and kind of the woman hoping that the man defines the relationship like, hey, we're together or we're not? It, that's kind of how these start. In some instances, yeah. I mean, you know, <laughs> I know we're going to get to it, but, you know, this whole the baby thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just, yeah. I mean, let's come on now. Yeah. At some point, yeah. she thought she was in a relationship, yeah. but according to him, they wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, it, it happens. Yeah. You know, I think where I feel like closed mouths don't get fed. I, I, I'm not, I'm not open this whole concept. I'm going to tell you, we're boyfriend and girlfriend or we're not. And if we're not, mm -hmm. don't call my phone because we're not. Don't. It's, that, it's how it is. But if we're boyfriend and girlfriend, that's what it's going to be. I want to set boundaries. I don't understand this coy behavior. This is new but to some, me. But yes. open mouths yes. can get fed boo-boo. Okay? And, and be told it's And pudding. you don't take it. Unless you know you're eating boo-boo and, and then you can stop. But the here's my voice. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think that what? we're conflating. The thing is, I think that we're conflating like different things, right? I think that um, society, for one thing, has a way of um, pressuring women, right, to be in relationships, demand relationships in order to have sex, whatever. I think that that's a a, a real pressure that exists and i think that that does a lot of time drive a certain behavior um in women um that in order to justify to ourselves a lot of times to for the desires that we have to uh you know solidify a relationship or whatever so that because we how was it always talked about like somehow our value is tied to our sexual experiences so if that is the case then you're going to be more you know, prone to be like, okay, this got to be a relationship because otherwise I'm not important. I'm not using me, you know, or, or whatever it is that is uh, treated like. But I mean, everybody is not the same. And there are some people who can have sexual experiences or whatever. And they're not just like, oh, well, I have to have this relationship um, or whatever. So I don't, I think that a lot of times what we do see, I do agree with TJ that a lot of times it does not end well. But I think that that does come back to the fact that uh, when we talk about healing in relationships and things like that, like, are you doing it because you're trying to pursue these things or thinking you're going to get something more out of the situation than what you are? A lot of times like that happens. Like uh, women know up front going into it that that's what you want. So it's not like you being blindsided, like I got these feelings out of nowhere that I never would have expected. Like, that's not what be happening. Like, let's just be honest. Right. So it's like, no, there's times when you can, you can have moments in time with people and that just be what it is. And you just move on with yourself and it's okay. And you never even think about it again. Like that's possible. But a lot of times I do think that it's used as a, you know, as an avenue into, okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll start here. I'll just accept this right now, but eventually it's going to become this. It's not something that most of the time we get blindsided with out of the blue. And it's not just women who, who have that experience either. Men do it too. You know, men will quote unquote catch feelings or whatever you call it or want more out of a relationship sometimes as well. But um mm -hmm. I, I, I just think we can't mix it up and make it a one thing and be like, if you're having um this type of relationship, then that means it's going to lead to XYZ. It can. 
it can and 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 it happens but i don't think that it's just like if you're doing this it's going to lead to this thing so well that's- i think <laughs> that you know it really i think people have to be honest you yeah. know you have to be honest about where you stand you know mm-hmm. and when i say honest sometimes you do have to verbalize it you know yeah. um because everybody doesn't think that way. Some people are very intentional when they're dating and they don't want to just date anybody. They are dating because they want to get to know somebody and ho- hopefully it leads to something long term or a marriage. Like, and I know, of course, we can date somebody and it could look great in the beginning and it doesn't work out, of course. But some people are intentional with dating and they don't want to you know, waste time, waste energy, waste their effort. So I think it's important to be honest, you know, and I, and I think about the baby and the Danny Lee situation where, you know, people were like, well, she should have known she was just a side chick. You know, um, he didn't say that he was serious about her, but I, I learned something new today because I thought, you know, as grown people in our thirties that we didn't need titles. I I thought that was a thing of the past. I thought that was like way back when we were in sixth grade where, you know, the little boy wrote, can you be my girlfriend and and put a yes box and a no box. And we had to check. Like I, I, I didn't, now I know that, you know, people don't always see relationships the same, but if I'm spending time with you, we're vacationing, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you on the phone, we're meeting each other's families, I'm thinking I'm in a relationship, you know, but it, it's obvious that, you know, men are like, well, no, I didn't claim you, you know, I didn't claim you as my woman, you know, we might be spending time together, you know, I might be spending holidays with you, I might introduce you to my family, but apparently, you know, who told you I you was my girl? Exactly. So but I, hey, me, make a dude okay. commit, otherwise he ain't gonna do it. So what I'm saying, that I, sounds very um to me that sounds misleading. You know, I, that sounds very misleading. So I have to, you know, ask you, I should give you that little paper with am I your girlfriend with the check yes box and check no? Is is that what yes is it's we, communication we, is key. Yes, yeah, yeah. I, I I I wanted to chime in because my my relationship with my husband started out where we we both were not single. He was dating somebody, and I was dating. And so, and y'all y'all heard me. <laughs> Look, y'all have heard me talk about it on this show before. That you know, as as old fashioned of the background. That I came from, and and Lacanya, me and Lacanya went to school together, and you know we we Georgia girls, and you know what we're taught at you know a young age, you know we we gotta be ladies, but right. I'm a firm believer that you can date, okay, and still be a lady. I mean, I remember getting to college, and I'm talking about fr- fresh off the farm, y'all y'all heard me say it before on the show, never had really a relationship or boyfriend. But my grandmother prepared me and she was like, you don't have to go with the first fish that bites. You know, you can you can go to the movies with somebody. You go to dinner with somebody. You you can, uh, you know, accompany somebody to a party and not put a label on it. See, I I, want to feel sorry for Danny Lee, but I I don't because she and like a lot of our young African-American women, they think they know what dating is. Well, well, oh well, a lot of our young women. Let me just say that that they think they know what dating is, and they don't have any idea. Okay, you know, I I know grown women who are living with men. They got kids together. Well, when did y'all date? Like, when was the last time y'all went out? You know, on a date. They don't know what that is. They know having sex. They know cohabitation, and then um. That then they know the kids and then they know, oh, now we've added water and stir. Oh, now we live in like married people. You have bypassed the courting experience. And and so then when then when these guys don't court you because you never did say I need to be courted. OK, mm-hmm. my husband committed to me because I told him straight up, if we're going to do this, you need to get rid of her because I'm about to get rid of him. OK, 
I ain't gonna be no, you know, no situations, no entanglements, and all these other colloquialisms that we like to use. <laughs> all these different words. We're gonna stop. We're gonna exclusively date each other if we want a healthy relationship. And that's what we did. And the funny part is, he thought that I was not dating other people when I met him, that I was just so stuck on him. And a lot of my friends uh, from college thought, oh, she just stuck on him. But little did they know, <laughs> I had movie acquaintances. I had somebody who I would go to church with. I had somebody I would go to, you know, a show or a play with. You know, I just didn't put it all out there in the open, you know, because I no courting is courting. Media, I'm guessing. No social media, right? No social media, no cell phones, okay? Um, and I've said that before, um, and, and Laconia can, can kind of maybe co-sign on that. When we were in college, I think the best blessings were a few of us had cell phones at, at, at some point, and there mm -hmm. was no social media. We were out here living our best 